Hey guys, welcome back. Modi101 here. We're back in the world of Infinity, picking up right after we left off. So last episode, we got some things done. It's crazy. We made this to be able to make some Terra Steel. We made this. Send me. Let me go. Okay, I can't go. All right, so let's start kind of working on getting a couple of things. I'm kind of curious here. If I grab two of these, two of these, and two of these, can I throw down two sets at a time? I did not get most of that up there. Are these up there? Okay. I think I can only throw down one at a time. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yoing, 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 yoing. Oh, okay. Well, we can't use that one. So, let's go ahead and pick this bad boy up. You can see how this is uses quite a bit of power quite a bit of mana juice let's go ahead and give ourselves one nope one two three four five six seven eight all right let's go ahead and toss these on here like so drink up drink up my pretties drink up okay let's go in there we got one perfect and let's go ahead and go dink a dink and a dink that's close enough. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we got those going in. Let's go ahead and grab uh, a little bit of sip of our experience and get this going. There you go. Yeah. Drink it up. Drink it up. Suckle. Suckle for Modi. That's awful. That is just. That is just a big box of wrong right there is what that is. Suckle. Come on. Come on. Take the last little bit. There you go. You're a hungry little guy, aren't you? Aren't you a hungry little guy? Okay. All right, so we got some stuff coming in there. This should be going just fine. We're just waiting on this. Did it stop? Ugh. Get on there. Die ah, overthrew it. Oh my god. Okay, this is the only part I don't like. Er, 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 get away from it. Okay, so while that cooks, we're actually going to make ourselves something handy. And let's see, can I get close enough to this? And I believe it goes a little something like this. Boop. And that gives us a terror blade. Now. This bad boy has a 7 attack. This also has a 7 attack. The reason this one is cool... Oh, actually, I need to make something else first. Uh, let's see. Let's go for a band. I think it is. A band of a mana. So this is just a, a tablet plus 4 mana steel. Pretty easy. We have some extra tablets here. We'll grab one of these. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We'll come right here. We'll do a little bit of this action, like a so. Take that band of mana, and we're actually going to throw it in to here. And, of course, we are out of this stuff. Oh, so much mana. So much. All right, is this... Do that. It should fill up. Let's... Steal these last little bits of juice we got here. Maybe that might be enough. Not even close. All right. Let's, let's see. Is this thing filled up yet? Almost. But let's do this real quick because I don't want to lose that stuff. There. There's your juice. Greedy little son of a... All right. Let's also grab ourselves maybe another 80. Why is my neighbor so goddamn loud? All right. We got that. Let's go ahead and throw these bad boys in here. Yeah, yeah, give them to me. All right, so we got a little bit more of this. Put that here still down. All right, let's go ahead and we'll pick this up real quick. Go a little something like that. And then we'll finish filling this guy up. <coughs> All right. So we get still some mana coming in. These still here, surprisingly. And it's still pumping it out. All right. Let's wait for this. Is this full now? 
Yes, it is. All right, so now we take this and pop this up here. That holds mana for us, and that is basically like auto repair on anything. And there we go. That's what makes this cool. Uh, it hits for the same amount as our other sword, but now we have a ranged attack, and that is just fun for everyone involved. There we go. There's a, there's a little bit more for you. There you go, spider. And it doesn't happen necessarily every time, but it does happen. So, all right. So there is that. And unfortunately, we're just waiting for this thing to kind of fill back up with juice because we have taken a quite a bit. And you can see these guys are still doing, they were at half. So they're still doing pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and look at a couple things. So. Let's look at this, and let's do uh, uses on this. So we can make this Conjuring Catalyst. We can make a Great Fairy Ring. What does this do? Quick Ring Saw, press B to open. Okay, what does it do? You're not helping me here. I'll make a Rod of the Bifrost. I thought it said Biff, rot, Biff Roast. I'm like, ooh, a Biff Roast. Delicious. Uh, Gaia Pylon we're going to need a little bit later. Cocoon of Caprice. What does this do? That's crazy. Look at that. That thing is crazy. I don't know what that does. Spectrum Platform. Starfield Creator. I don't know what any of these things do. I'm so excited. Alright. And... What are these? These are, these are a thing. Alright. Red String. You know. Uh, Rod of the Highlands is something we may make here. Spark augments. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. We can add these to get um, to control those sparks a little bit more, and then these transfer more mana lens. Resolute ivy. What is this used for? Doesn't tell me. Okay, good, good. All right. This flower is a lie. Ooh, let's make it then. What does that do? Oh, I bet you it eats cake. I bet you it eats cake. Um, profiting off hate. Okay, those are the ones that I think make things go away. These are scary ones. Just tell me what they do. Uh, I seed what you did there. Oh, you're honey. I guess I just eat seeds. Red like roses. Lumium, hold it above your head. What? Oh, I think that creates light. I'm making this stuff up, by the way. Uh, some sort of ghost thing. Bub bell. Bub bell. All right, so it does that. Now, one thing I wanted to look at was, and this is where it gets interesting, this rod here. Now, uses, if we put it with... Uh, Alpha glass, we get Bifrost glass. I thought it did something else. Um, what I was looking at was making some of the wands. A uh, rods. Let's look up rods. Rod Stewart, maybe. We can make Rod Stewart. That's, that's always fun. <coughs> Alright. So, we got ourselves... Rod of the Skies, Rod of the Hells, I still don't want this, let's, let's hit use this, does it say, I don't know, wait, hold on, go back, uh, uses, oh yeah, that's right, we looked, Rod of the Highlands, Rod of the Plentiful Mantle, Rod of the Shaded Mesa, Rod of the Unstable Reservoir, Rod of the Depths, Rod of the Molten Core, Rod of the Shifting Crust. Okay. So let's start with the Rod of the Highlands. So this is going to take a Rune of Air, a Rod of the Lands. Okay. Rod of the Lands is pretty easy. Earth, Living Wood, and Dirt. We should be able to do that. So let's put that away for now. Um, all right. So one Earth and one Twig. Okay. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves a twig. 
and we put this here and we put the dirt here and we get the rod of the lands okay so this one is pretty straightforward ready this one creates dirt dirt out of nothing because you can see we're back up to nine and now we're at ten so this is this is probably believe it or not super overpowered if you're playing a sky block with um batani in it because in most sky blocks you know you have to you know put saplings or leaves into a barrel to make dirt and then you know you take that and then you know you get one dirt per you know nine saplings or whatever it is eight saplings and it takes forever to fill it in with this bad boy basically for the cost of a little bit of mana and if we actually look we barely even make an, a dent in this uh it'd be no apparently that's not be um all right so that's the rod of the lands now let's see what the rod of the highlands does okay that's this one so we're gonna need air and pixie dust so we'll grab one of these nice you're not listening one of these and then uh one air okay and then we're going to take the rod of the lands the pixie dust and the air and we're going to get the rod of the highlands now let's go see what this does this one i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sure i'm assuming it's a different version of this does it literally do the exact same thing Maybe it just uses less mana, I'm guessing. I don't know. But that's something that's handy to have. <coughs> All right. Rod of the Skies. This one should be pretty easy, too. So we need a Feather, Living Wood, and Air. This one is handy pretty early on, and we could have made this a while ago. Um, but there's better ways to achieve what we're going to do here. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a feather. We get ourselves another living wood twig. And we'll make Rod Stewart. Um, let's see. Yeah, my brain shut off when I made a Rod Stewart joke. Get over it. All right. One of these. And then, pink, pink. I need to make more of that stuff in between episodes. All right. So, we'll do this. We get our twig. We get a little bit of air. We get a little bit of feather. And we got the Rod of the Skies. The Rod of the Skies. Ow. So the Rod of the Skies does a couple. Basically, it lets you fly up a certain amount. It also gives you feather falling. So it is something that... And I think this one just lets you go up. So this is something that's handy to have when you're out exploring and, you know, you're trying to get to, like, the top of something. Um, but it's not the most handy of them all, and I think there's a better version. And plus, it's probably chewing through. Eh, still not too bad. All right, so there's that one. Uh, let's get back to our rods. Uh, let's see. I don't know how to make this one. Plot, rod up plentiful mantle so mana diamond and four living wood twigs why do i hear a skeleton somewhere whatever but the nice thing i think nope okay gotta have it in at least your hot bar that hurt all right so let's see how much living wood do we sell ah, we're still good two three four that's and then one diamond a lot of these I haven't made. Some of them I have, some of them I haven't. So let's see uh, what kind of shenanigans we can get into here. So we do this. I don't know what this does. This will be exciting. Rod of the Plentiful Mantle. Okay, I want to do this not in the middle of our base because I don't know what it does. So let's just head right out here, right on the fridge. Let's go right here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. All right, so if I click this... Christ, was that? By the way, that blinking blue bar underneath where our um, experience would be, that's showing how much mana we have left. I don't know what this does. What if 
if I do it to a sheep? Uh, let's see. Uses. Yeah, I don't know what this does. It sounds scary as hell, and it's using a ton of our... Okay, let's get the hell that damn thing out of our hand. Holy jeebus. All right. Well, that's fun. Just playing with rods. You know. What you doing, Modi? Oh, you know, rod things. Just rod things. All right. So let's kind of look. There's another one I think we might have in here. Uh, let's see. I wanted to look. So there's this. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so we're in a sloth. Okay. And of the depths. This is actually a pretty easy one. We'll make this one. Water, fire, cobble, and sticks. Do I have any cobble on me? I don't. <coughs> this is a pretty handy one that you can use. This is a nice early, early, and I wouldn't say early game, but at least early Batania one to have. All right, so two more twigs. And then I need to get myself a fire and a water rune. Let's go ahead and eat up real quick. All right, so fire, water. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, and there's that. And it was like this, if I remember correctly. Boom and a boom. Gives us Rod of the Depths. Now, if this is what I think it is, uh, let me find a good place to do this at. I guess I can just do it right here. Rod of the Depths. Oh, use, oh it does cobble. Eh, that makes sense because I had a piece of cobble. All right, so this is basically like the, the lands one, except it just basically puts down a piece of cobble to cost a mana. Okay. Once again, kind of cool early on. Um, would be very helpful on a skyblock type map. All right. Yeah, give me my rods back. We're almost at the end of this episode of, of, of the rod extravaganza. All right. So molten core. Let's try this one. Two sticks, fire, two blaze rods. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So we get two blaze rods. We know we have those. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Blaze. Oh, they're right there. I can see them. A one and a two. I think this is the last one we're going to have time to make <clears throat> this episode. But and I'll do a little bit more research. I think it's a lot more fun when I'm just playing with it and learning. Be like, ooh, look what I did. All right. So we need a fire. And then how much living wood do we have? One, two, three, four. Oh, we're good. We're good. We are good people. All right. Let's do that. And then it was here, here, barrel, barrel, and finally, barrel. Okay. So this gives us the rods of molten core. I hope this is what I think it is. All right. And. What's this do? Crap, I burned something. Well, that's not what I thought it did. Let's go out here. Oh, is this thing just like an elaborate, uh... Oh, oh hold still, hold still, sheep. Oh, sorry. Let me do this. I thought maybe this... Like, what does this do? Like, he cooked something. Got plenty of mana. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, let's go over here. So we've got stone. What if we do this? What if we do this? What if we do this? They just did something. What if we put down a piece of cobble and then do this? Okay, it just auto. Okay, that's that's kind of handy, I guess. I mean, considering the fact that we have to set it down, so that doesn't necessarily help us. So I guess it'll just cook things. Will it work on like ores? Because I mean, you know, you wouldn't be able to double it, but it'd be something definitely be kind of handy, you know. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. I thought this might give us lava. Like how the... the, the all right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens here. Nothing. Okay. What about in here? How about you? Can I burn you? Look at that. Rocky hype. I don't need that. Ow! Go away from me! All right, so maybe, you know, would have been easier but not nearly as fun as if I had looked up in the book the word rod. And, oh, okay, little lag spike while flying. That's always fun. So let's look in here real quick. Let's look up rod. All right. Mm, the depths, rod of hells. Rod of hells contains essence of a burning flame. Use it on the ground. will create a circle of fire that burns anything inside of it for a decent cost of mana. The ring has a decent radius and takes a small amount of time to fully... Um, okay, so that's basically just makes a burning ring of fire. No. Take me back to the rods. This is the, this is the, the rod episode. Uh, let's see. Rod of Shaded Mesa is a powerful relic. Legend says the first of these devices were found atop a dark mesa along with a crowbar. Okay. To use this device, the user may right-click and hold on a monster or item to pick it up. Releasing right-click will drop the selected entity, while left-click will fire it as... Oh, okay. So you can pick up mob... Ah, damn it. You can pick up mobs and whatnot and use them as bullets, basically. Uh, Rod of the Skies, we did uh, Shifting Crust. It's a magical dice with the ability to swap blocks in the world at a very fast speed. In order to achieve this, you must first select a block. Okay, so it's just a block swap thing. So, All right, so some of these are going to be super helpful. Some of them are just kind of neat. Um, why is everything all weird here? But, you know, like I said, it's it's... I think it's fun. It's it's the side of Batania. A lot of people use this to get different things, but I like the weaponry and whatnot. So, all right, guys. So in between episodes, I'm going to try to rebuild our mana supply. Did these hydrangeas finally die? Yeah, they did. Um, <clears throat> they went longer than I thought they were going to. Uh, try and build up our mana supply a little bit more, and um, try and make ourselves some more Terra Steel. Get a lot more of these these items in here. Uh, figure out how to get myself some more Ender Pearls is going to kind of be dire. So, All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Questions, comments, concerns, put it down in the comment section. And until the next episode of Infinity, I want to thank you guys ever so much for spending this time with me. And until the next episode, we will see you guys next time. Bye.